M0FXB, welcome to my channel UV18 Pro and we've got the software here and we're going to read and write from the radio, it's just a UV5R cable, just Google UV5R and you'll get it, it's the twin pin cable which is plugged into my laptop and we're going to right click here at the bottom and go to device manager to have a quick check of the COM port which is number 8, so let's right click, device manager and number 8 and it's a CH340 once we've got that, we'll just check up here where it says settings, port, and look, COM port A. So let's read from the radio. We'll click this little read button just here. Click start, and it's quite fast. And we've got this code plug from M6LSJ. I can send you a copy if you want one. It's got a lot of 2 meter repeaters and 70 centimeter ones, plus some PMR in there. But of course, you're going to make it, you know, make it how you like it. So you can read or write to the radio, you can save files, go file, save, and you can save a copy, give it a name, say call it M0FXB, and then just say, you know, save it somewhere if you want. You can file window, where is it? We can look at channel information, which we're on now, the first box, VFO mode, what you want, you know, when you want it, when it's in VFO mode, what frequencies is, is it going to boot up on? Even the tones ETC, you can set that, close that. Radio functions. So I think the obvious one that I always do is this screen. You want it to be on all the time. So look, backlight timer, drop that down, just select light. But everything else was okay. We had the timeout, how long you can talk, 180 seconds there. That's a, a bit longer would be nice, but I think that's three minutes is enough. Squelch and the rest, I haven't really had to change. If you want to turn off the beep, you can do it now. If you don't like the buttons beeping. And then you've got channel display. If you want to display the frequency, the number of the channel or the name of the channel, it's up to you. You can decide that for A and B. Everything else, oh, I've turned on the GPS just to see if it comes on. I can't see that this radio has got GPS or Bluetooth. So, that works fine and we can, let me think now, we can open a file, so if I go open, open a different file that I had here, there's one from me, UV18, and let, we can write that to the radio if we want, read or write, open. I can't see that you can import or export from places like repeater book. That normally you'll have an import export i can't see that there at the moment read write new yeah that gives you a blank sheet dtmf i noticed i did have to turn on dtmf for the keys to work but some of the dtmf settings can be complicated on the actual radio i just literally just turned it on and it started working um, so if we go to settings where was it uh, Windows, radio function, let's just go, uh, go to um, DTMF, look for DTMF, go to DTMF, and um, if I can't see it here, you can just do it in the settings of the radio, no I can't see it now, but anyway thanks for watching my channel, uh, it works well, 7-3 all the best.